Sia, and I am here with my June TBR. I have a total of three graphic novels and four books that I'd like to go ahead and try to read. Two books I am already in the middle of, so um, I'm hoping that I can get through all of them this month. It doesn't seem too ambitious, but my reading has been kind of all over the place the last couple of months, so we shall see how it goes. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. The, um, these aren't in any particular order, they're just going to be kind of the things that I pull from the stack. The first one that I see on top is the first book that I am currently reading, and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This I started in May, didn't get around to finishing it. I'm about halfway through. I put it down a couple weeks ago because I, I put it down a couple weeks ago because I wasn't loving it. Um, I wasn't hating it or wasn't loving it. I just felt like it was kind of okay, so I needed to take a break from it. But I uh, picked this up the other day and I was actually really intrigued. So I'm really excited to see where the story goes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this this month. The, the second book that I am currently in the middle of is Melmoth by Sarah Perry. Um, don't really honestly know too much about this. I uh, won this arc in a Goodreads giveaway right before it came out and my book club is reading it the first is a meeting to discuss this the first week in June. So I need to get on it. I'm only like 20 pages in or so but um, it's a very, it's very interesting. I don't know my initial thoughts about it yet. Um, it is kind of a sci-fi, it's not sci-fi, it's, um, a kind of historical fiction. It's definitely got some, um, like fantasy elements thrown in here. Uh, it says here, for centuries, a mysterious dark robed figure has roamed the globe, searching for those who complexity and cowardice have fed into the rapids of history's darkest waters. And now... In Sarah Perry's breathtaking follow-up to the Essex Serpent, it is heading in our direction. It has been years since Helen Franklin left England. In Prague, working as a translator, she has found a home of sorts, or at least refuge. That changes when her friend Carol discovers a mysterious letter in the library, a strange confession, and a curious warning that speaks of Melmoth the Witness, a grim legend found in fairy tales and antique village lore. As such suspicion has it, Melmoth travels through the ages, dooming those she persuades to join her to a damnation of timeless solitude. To Helen, it all seems a step of unenlightened fantasy, but unaware as she wanders the cobblestone streets, Helen is being watched, and then Carol disappears. I am really intrigued. I am only 20 pages in or so, but I am enjoying what I have read so far. Um, but I'm really, really hoping that I can get to this and finish this this month as well. Thing that I'd like to try to pick up this month is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in the new um, Aurora Rising, Aurora Cycle series. Um, I am super pumped to read this. I picked this up last month right when it came out. Um, it was like my one new release full price um, splurge because I love the Illuminate Files. It's one of my favorite sci-fi series um, and I'm really, really excited to read this. I've heard mixed things, um, but I am still really, really excited to read it, so I'm really hoping that I can get to it this month as well. I also have, um, again, but better on my TBR for the month. This I picked up from the library the other day because my hold was ready, um, and I'm really weary going into this one as well because I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. Um, I really wanted to support Christine and her novel, but I just couldn't justify spending full price on it, um, especially if it's not something that I'm going to love. So I picked it from the library. I'm still really intrigued to read it. I want to read it. I want to support her. Um, but I've heard pretty mixed things, so I don't know where I'm going to fall. But with it being summer and it getting warmer, I'm trying to breach out a little bit more into some more like romance and contemporary novels. So we'll go ahead and try to give this a read this month as well. Um, I am participating in a readathon in June that has kind of a summer, um, that is like summer themed. So I think this might be the perfect read to go ahead and try for that. But I am really excited to go ahead and give this a try. And the next three books that I'd like to go ahead and treat are the three graphic novels that I picked up for the month. The first one being Paper Girls Volume 4 by Brian K. Bond. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about this because it is a spoiler, uh, but it's the next in the series. I really, really enjoy the series. It's a great, like, YA um, adult, you know, a YA uh, kind of sci-fi series that follows 12-year-old um, Paper Girls, and they deal with time travel. It has some pretty diverse characters, so I'm really, really excited to read this this month, um, and it's just a fun, great series. It kind of has like Stranger Things feel, so I've been really enjoying the series, and I cannot wait to pick up this volume. 
I also picked up Sleepless by Sarah Vaughn, who is the co-creator of Alex and Ada. I honestly don't know much about this. I do know that it's a fantasy series. Um, I was kind of just intrigued by the cover. It's also got this adorable little creature on the back. Um, and kind of just drew me in from those two things. Um, let's see here. It says, In the kingdom of Harbony, Lady Poppy is kept safe by her faithful sleepless knight. But when a new king is crowned, an assassin targets her, ushering in a dangerous chapter to her life. As Poppy and Cedric work to discover who wants her dead, they must navigate the treacherous waters of life at court and of their growing feelings of one another. From Alex and Ada's co-creator Sarah Vaughn and Shutter co-creator Lila Del Luca with editor colors Alyssa Sala and letterer Duran Bennett comes an ethereal fantasy tale woven from the rich tapestries of the human condition. I am super intrigued. Um, I don't really know much about it. I haven't really seen a lot of it. I haven't really seen a lot about it, but I'm excited to go ahead and try to pick this up this month and give it a read. The thing I like to try to read in June is The Exile by Diana Gabaldon. This is the basically outlander from Jamie's point of view, the first book, the first season. Um, I have this on my TBR when I first started being like introduced to Outlander and be, and honestly then kind of forgot about it um, um, until I happened to see it at the library the other day and I decided to pick it up because I am um, all about more Outlander in my life and I am kind of an Outlander drought right now so I figured it would be a lot of fun to pick it up and I'm really intrigued to see their interpretation of the characters so I decided to pick this up and try to go to read this month as well. So here is everything that I'd like to try to read in June. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are reading in June, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video.